Hi, Callum Brown for 74XX. Today I have a combination arcade repair bite and installation guide for my replacement Burger Time CPU module. So this board is in great shape, but as soon as I turn on the board, I notice some issues. Uh, these weird letters that are in the high score table don't make sense at all, especially since it doesn't save high scores. And then it crashes right here and doesn't go any further. On this board, I checked all the program ROMs against the images in the MAME set and they all matched. I also checked the main RAM, which is located right next to the CPU module, and it tested fine in my SRAM tester. So I decided it was time to move on to replacing the CPU module. This is the CPU 7 module, which contains a 6502A CPU and some extra chips that form a basic encryption scheme. The whole thing is encased in this green epoxy tomb. I took a CPU 7 from a non-working board and chipped away until I got down to the chips. And then I figured out what chips they were and mapped them all out and created my own clone board. Everything is approximately in the same place using the same chips, so it will function exactly as the original. To install the new module, you need to desolder the original CPU 7 first, and this is probably the hardest part of the process. I would recommend that you have a desolder gun or possibly a solder sucker might work, but I don't think desolder braid is gonna cut it here. Be sure to also desolder the ground wire that's coming out of the center of the unit on the top of the bottom board. I tried to remove it here, but uh, it wasn't budging, so I decided to go over it with some hot air to heat up both sides, and I went at it again with the desolder gun. This time I was able to remove the module. Unfortunately, I lost two solder pads, one here and one over here. So I'll make note of that, and after I install the headers, I'll patch these points. I'm also gonna snip this little piece of a trace so that it doesn't short to other pads. These are the female machine pin headers. I'll put them in both sides of the board, and I'll use some painter's tape to keep them straight up and down. It's quite important that the headers are straight and not on an angle, otherwise the module simply won't fit into it. Usually when installing headers like this, I will just tack on the first and last pin and then check to make sure it's straight before going any further. These are looking pretty good, so I will go ahead and solder the rest of the pins. I'll use some solid 30 gauge wire to repair the two traces that broke during the removal of the CPU 7 module. If you ordered the disassembled kit, then you'll have to assemble it. First, install the resistors and capacitors according to the instructions. Locate the 8 resistor array and find the black dot indicating pin 1. Make sure this goes into the square hole on the PCB. Next, install all of the smaller ICs according to the map and the 40 pin CPU socket into the middle of the board. Use painter's tape to keep the resistor array, ICs and socket in place. Turn the board over and solder everything in. Now you can install the CPU, making sure that none of the pins get bent on the way in. Next you have the male machine pin headers. These have a long and a short side. Insert the short side through the bottom, then use painter's tape to keep them in place. Turn it over and tack in the first pin, and check again to make sure that they're straight. 
Again, it's very important that they're straight, otherwise they will not match up with the female sockets on the board. In my case, I can see the left set of pins are a little bit in towards the middle of the board, so I'm going to fix that. Being very careful not to burn my hand, I will reflow that first pin and adjust the angle of the header. Now I can go back and solder the pin on the far side of each header and check again to make sure that it's straight and flush. Now they're good and I can go ahead and finish soldering in these headers. Now it's time to install the module in the board. Make sure it goes in the right way with my website address facing the ribbon connector. Now I will reinstall the top board and plug my harness back on for testing. And with the new module in, we can try it out. And I am seeing the normal high scores I expect to see. Controller works. And there we go. The new module requires a little more clearance than the old one. So remove the PCB standoffs by unscrewing them from the bottom of the board and replacing them with the longer ones included in the kit. That marks the end of this arcade repair bite and installation video. If you're interested in purchasing one of these CPU kits for your Burger Time board, please see the description below for links to my website and ordering information. Until next time.